Dreaming of painting your 3D models while swinging on your balcony with just your iPad? Well, this video is just for you. In this video, I'll quickly show you how to get your model ready for painting and what you can do with it once it's in Procreate. First, you need the model to paint. Alright, let's jump into Procreate and start. Wait, not so fast. Back to Blender for a second. We need to unwrap the UVs first. You can use Smart UV Unwrap inside Blender or manually select edges and unwrap them yourself. Actually, unwrapping it yourself can be much better as it gives you more control over how you'll paint the model based on its shape. UVs are basically your 3D model flattened onto a 2D sheet, like a map. And we need to fit this sheet neatly into the 0 to 1 UV space. The space your UV island take up will decide how sharp your textures look. That's why we use a checker texture to check the texture density. To apply a checker texture to your model, go to the shading tab, create a new material and add a new image texture. Click new and in the window that pops up, change the generated type to UV grid and your checker is ready. If your checker pattern looks like stretching out pizza slices, yeah, your UVs are crying. Fix them before moving on. One more thing. Turn on face orientation and check if all faces are pointing the right way. If you see the red areas, fix them before moving on too. I hear you. Can we go to Procreate now, please? Alright, UVs are ready. Now export the model as an OBG file, finally. I sent the obg file to procreate using drive. When I tap download from drive, I choose open with procreate from the options and it opens right up. Before I start painting, open the actions menu, go to the 3D section and tap edit lighting and environment. From there I add as many lights as procreate allows. Then under the environment tab, I set the environment to studio and lower the exposure to around 50%. Now you can smack colors onto your model with any brush you like. But keep in mind, by default you are also painting roughness and metallic channels. I just want to paint the base color. So I go into my brush settings and set roughness to matte, metallic to non-metallic. Want to add logos, patterns or even your cat's face? Here's how. Open Actions, 3D tab, Show 2D textures. Now simply drag and drop any image onto the texture canvas. Perfect for logos, fabric patterns or questionable memes. <coughs> you can play around and take snapshot directly from Procreate, but if you want the full control over lighting and camera, export your texture as a PNG. Go back to Blender, connect it to the base color of your material, set up your lights and hit the render. And boom. And boom. You got your painted model, ready to show off. Thank you for watching. See you soon.